Okay, so I'll kind of unpack the beginning of the story and then we'll kind of go deeper. So we're going to go into the layers, but this is the first layer. So the first layer of Jack and the Beanstalk, it always start with, it's a widow and a son. And so the, the importance of that is to understand that Jack does not have a father. And so a lot of what creates poverty is, is not having a father. And so if, if Jack had a father, the story would not have proceeded the way that it does. The story would have been the father training his son how to come out of poverty. <laughs> but there's something that happens when you don't have a father and your, 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 your mother is a widow. And for a lot of people listening to this, you may have a father. You might say, well, how does this apply to me? Well, it applies to you because if your father has not trained you how to come out of poverty, then you might as well, at least in this small area, be fatherless like Jack. And most, most men are, um, most, most fathers are not training their sons. What are the steps to, to come out of poverty? Um, what are the steps to getting to a place of abundance as a family? And so if you don't have a father who has taught you those steps and is walking down that road with you, then you find yourself a son of Jack, you know, like my son, Jackson, <laughs> who does have a father by the way, but who does want to help him lead him out of poverty. But I think uh, I think this is this is why I think this is so important because it unveils this and, and it makes it accessible for everyone. Um, so it's a great learning tool for a father to teach his son, um, as I'm doing right here, or it's a great tool for uh, for somebody who has no father to, to help them.